Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Ray. Uh, we're here with the bow tie block. This is a tall deck block. If you haven't had this before, um, have a block that's broken or cracked or anything like that. Well, I have a video of this one showing you that this one was cracked. And, um, well, I thought it was trash also. But then talk after talking with them, some other guys, uh, they explain, hey, there's this solution that you can use. That actually is so strong that will handle um, pressures, uh, will handle fluids, fuel, water, uh, even some mild acids. Um, so it is strong enough for a block, it's strong enough for concrete, for fiberglass, for stone. Um, there's many applications they use this stuff for. So I'm going to show you on this block um, the repair I did with it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the link of the other video of when I, when I got this block out of the machine shop because the machine shop told me there's nothing you can do about it. It's trash. Um, again, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And I do these videos to show you and teach you things that I also learn uh, from other guys. And um, well, anyway, I took this block to get machined. This is a 4.5 bore right now. Uh, this is gonna make a 572 because you can put a four and a half crank in it, 4.5 bore. It'll make a 572 right now. It's completely machine board and everything. Uh, well, after doing that, the machine shop told me, hey, uh, I did a pressure test and it was leaking water. So there was no way, uh, there's nothing you can do. Uh, he wanted to trash the block. I told him I'd go pick it up, paid him. Um, I believe it was a hundred bucks, 125, uh, what the work he already did. Um, so it's got freeze plugs. I, I need to put the cam bearing. So what I did is I brought it back and then I went ahead and got on Facebook. Um, uh, I got on the Big Block Chevy website and I asked guys, hey, I showed them what the pressure test was and and it was leaking. A lot of guys said, throw it away. It's trash. There's nothing you can do. Well, after several uh, messages and back and forth, well, this guy ended up uh, messaging me and telling me, hey, there's this solution you can use and it's resin. It's actually, this is a resin you can use. It's a SC110. It's a hardener and a resin, and it's a two-part. You mix it two to one, and it's extremely strong, very dur durable. Uh, he said he uses it on his race, race boats, on his engines that they do crack or something happens to it. He does the same thing, gets it up and running, puts it back in his boat, and he races the entire season without any issues. Uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and try it out. And I'm here to show you that this does work. That way, if you come across this issue, you can repair it yourself instead of buying a, another block for a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars. I mean, this is a, like, as I said, a 10-2 tall deck block. It'll make a 572, it'll make a 632, uh, 540, whichever one you want to do. Instead of buying a fifteen hundred dollar block, buy this stuff. I pay uh, less than a hundred dollars for it and I repaired it. So. If you want to come down this way, I'm going to show you right quick, and that way you can see what I'm talking about. And here's the crack where it happened. Let's see, right there. This is the crack. So that's where you saw it, that it was leaking. Water was coming out. Uh, he did a pressure test. Water came out. Somebody had put JB Well. JB Well is not going to fix that. JB Will is not strong enough for that. So what I did is I removed all the JB Will. I got a die grinder and smoothed it out some. Cleared it out. And this one has had a sleeve in it also. Uh, so it was cracked right here as well. Uh, and as you can see, that resin is very clear. You can paint over it if you want to paint over it. But there's no reason why to paint over it here. Because all that's going to have is oil. So let me go ahead and do a pressure test so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see it yourself. And all you do is get soap and water and you get a, some air to it. And you'll see
as you can see, there is no bubbles, no uh, anything pushing out of it. It is completely sealed up. So that's ready to go. I know you're, here, let me see if I can see better with this. As you can see, it's crystal clear. Nothing's gonna, you just clean off the water. I know you're gonna have some guys out there tell you, oh, don't do that, don't run that, I'm not gonna risk that. Well, that's up to them. This block is good to go. You saved yourself 1500 bucks. Um, maybe $2,000. If you went and bought you a dark block, a Merlin block, Broad X block, it'd be two grand for those blocks. Uh, if you ended up having some issue like this, at least you know you can repair it. Uh, if you haven't seen this again, this is what this stuff is. What I'll do is I'll put a link to it for the website where I purchased this stuff. If you have any issues, any blocks that crack, uh, I'm not sure. I, I would think it would work on heads also, but depending where you're going to put it at, I don't think it'll work on the bow seats or anything like that. But as you can see, it works. There's no leaks, anything like that. Um, I'll put the link for the other video. That way you can see what, what it was like prior to this. Uh, again, thanks for watching. I do this for you. That way you can help yourself and help others as well. Uh, Hit that subscribe button, share this video, and show others what you think about this. And go ahead and comment. I don't mind you commenting. Thanks for watching.